So we're here in Leicester Square to bring you even more London Film Festival coverage. Kicking off again with Tokyo Tribe. Amon, yes. did you like this film? No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, let's start with what's good about it. Um, the Tokyo itself looks fantastic in okay. this film. I really like the, the vibrancy of the city and they really sort of uh, get that across very well. So, like that. Also, some of the fights in this are pretty cool. Um, not gonna lie. Um, I'm, you know, I'm, I like my action. And some of the fight scenes were very cool. They're very over the top, a sort of Japanese style martial arts in a way, but you know, it's quite it cool. Works. It, it works. It works. You can't have like a Far Eastern film without a little bit of martial arts no, in there. No, no. <laughs> and what they have mostly works. Other than that, well, no, I will say some of the, some of the lyrics, is because um, you know, this tries to merge sort of the hip hop with the Yakuza gang. And some of the lyrics which they do, you know, uh, actually pretty good, even though sort of, you know, the translation can sometimes be a bit iffy, and I'll get to more of that in the negative, but some of the lyrics were actually pretty good. Um, I didn't think the message got across very well overall, but again, you know, we'll get into that in the negative. I'm, I'm okay. just talking about the bad. The thing is, is that um, <laughs> what I just want to say about it is, that, is from what I understand from you, yeah. is that it is a manic film, you know, but Tokyo is manic, Yes. you know, so it's reflecting that. So I think if you're going in there expecting something that's quite calm, it's probably not one to get yeah. for you. It's, it's really Absolutely. filling the room with, yeah. with that feel. I was not Tokyo. familiar with the director's work uh, going into this, and the people were telling me afterwards that, you know, it was very much in the vein of its previous stuff. So, um, but yeah, it, it, I, over the course of the two hour film, I just couldn't really, um, you know, fully invest myself and get to grips with it. But, well, let's yeah. find out why. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, so there's more negatives to this one. Yes, there? there is. Okay, um, reel them off. Okay, <laughs> first things first, I did not care about a single thing in this film, unfortunately. And when it, that, that's, that's, that's a film killer right there. If you can't invest in the characters themselves, you're not really going to enjoy the film. I mean, they're still, in, they're still introducing characters an hour into the film. Yeah, and that's that, a bit iffy. That's, that, that doesn't work. The second thing is, the rapping in this, they these this is guys. Of mine. Yeah, well, <laughs> worse. No. <laughs> <laughs> these guys. I mean, we've had a review for the Nas documentary, Time Is Automatic. These guys ain't Nas. I'll yeah. tell you that now. Um, <laughs> give me two minutes. I could probably come up with better lines than these dudes. It's really, really poor, and you know, I couldn't get into that. The message in this film, they try and have like a line which is meant to, I guess, be the film's message. It comes out of nowhere. Right. Um, and you know, I mean, they say it as if like this has been like a running theme throughout the film. No, no. no I don't this know has really they're... angered you. Oh uh, no, I guess. What kind of audience? What kind of audience would go and watch this film? That's a great question. I'm not sure nice. is the answer. <laughs> um, it's, 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 I'm not sure if I'm just not the honest or if it's not a good film. I think it's more the latter, actually, as I say that. But, okay. Um, well, let's, so let's give these guys at home who are maybe intrigued. Let's give them the real deal on this okay, film. That's okay. Okay. Okay, Tokyo Tribe. Yeah. Probably not one at the top of your Tokyo hit list uh, or your oh. must-sees. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. what is the real deal? Who's this for? Uh, who is this for? I guess if you're a fan of the director and if you like the director's previous work, then you know this is very much in the vein of that. So, um, you know, I'd be interested to see if people who who are fan of this, who are fan of the director, and go see this one. I'm interested to hear what they think. For me, I'm giving it two stars. I couldn't really get into it. The elements, elements of it which I enjoyed, Tokyo looked great, but the message didn't come across. I wasn't invested in any of the characters. The rapping was terrible. I'm sure if you give me a couple more minutes, I can list a few more things I don't no, like about it. No, you don't have a couple more minutes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> my cut, cut, cut. But uh, yeah, not for me. Not for you. Okay, well guys, listen, thank you so much for tuning in to our London Film Festival review. You can find out much more from us on our Twitter site, at The Real Film Show, and also our wonderful website, where there's more London Film Festival coverage and much more. Thanks for tuning in. That is the real deal on film.com. See you soon.